It's your boy Rush Renee Cuz. I am your favorite freedom fighters, favorite freedom fighter, thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You dig? All right, man. Now everybody was like, oh, I'm a hater, this and that. But I told niggas in advance that Young Buck Vlad interview was gonna get weird. All right, now let's go, let's go ahead and watch this shit one time. to Turk about this he said yeah we, we kind of kissed each other like that on some mafia type shit you know a lot of people have made an issue over uh, over uh, Baby and, and Wayne kissing in the lips and you know Baby explained that I remember on a radio show saying you know that's my son you know if you have kids you understand yeah I mean that situation man it was like See, they caught them in the moment where the fans and, and the media the and all of it, they made it out an issue that it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It's just like the mob, you know, they, they kiss each other all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like ain't nobody gonna go to them and say they ain't no bitch or no hoe or none of that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not with them to this day, you know what I'm saying? I never say that that's what they is, you know what I'm saying? That just was, was something that a nigga did in the in-house. Just like nigga play basketball, nigga might make a shot, nigga hit him on his ass. That don't mean he a fan, that mean, you no. know what I'm saying, nigga, good job, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a man, man, like, I mean, you know, people it? just look at that different, you know what I'm saying? I just, I didn't see it that way, you know Because you was doing it. Sure. Did, did other people in Cash Money do that, or was it just Baby and Wayne? Nah, man, we all used to do that shit, that was an in-house thing. Like, nigga used to be like, you know what I'm saying, nigga, you, nigga, you got love for a nigga, nigga, how much you love me? It just was a homeboy thing, you know what I'm saying? They got a lot of clicks. Was it a father son thing or a homeboy thing? They play all kind of games with their niggas in house, you know what I'm saying? But this is why a young fella come out with this babe and hubby out, and calling his, his niggas, you know all that saying? weird all shit. I really ain't used to do that shit with Juvenile. Like I say, Juvenile was old, and I, to this day, I wouldn't do that shit. But back then, we were young, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, it baby took advantage of these young little niggas. Right now, I got baby and slim name tatted in my chest, you know what I'm saying? That's I ain't gonna have no grown man name tatted on my chest. 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 Nigga, you ain't my father. But he said, yeah, I mean, that was actually happening. Did you People ever see that? forget that little Wayne father was Rabby. And he had a stepfather I, before yeah. baby. I mean, baby never played with me like that. Don't let me clear that up. You understand what I'm saying? I never seen baby play with you. Clear that shit up immediately, huh? You know what I'm saying? But young Thuglicious. Turk is right. You Not Thuglicious. Young I, I see uh, him Buck Jenner. Like, like, I don't play like that. Explain to you, it was, I don't know if it was a mafia or what it was, but for me, it was something that, you know, I viewed as that's them type of thing, you know, because, like, was weird. you know, I think I seen Wayne, Turk, and even BG kind of push that line at a point in time for us, the embracement that he had with them. And they had this. He had all his bitches in line kissing him. Bond with baby like that. So, you know, I guess that's what that came from, but I never... Nigga like, let me go and clear my name immediately. And baby ain't never played them games with me, nigga. Now, in New Orleans, there's, there's a lot of homosexual thugs out there, you know what I mean? There'd be nothing for niggas to pull up on the block, talk about how they just did this and did that, and then go bust a nigga head, like... A nigga shocked that this, this, mo, this nigga that killed Mo3 was a body boy. Yo, the body boy be running crazy in the South, cuz. That jail mentality shit fucking nigga up. Okay, how much time a nigga doing? I ain't taking no nigga ass. Oh, my mama, mama, mama. Crazy, though. But yeah, man, this, is, this, is, this Young Buck interview is gonna be very interesting. Vlad loves it. Once again, he's capitalizing off the black culture. A nigga that ain't nobody even really considering to motherfucking interview. So why not? And uh, shout out to Buck, man. So I've, I've been a Buck fan. I'm about to go listen to some of that 10 Punch right now. That 10 Bricks. He had, a, he had a nice little lineup before he started doing all this weird shit, cuz. Shout out to Black Fly TV. I seen them niggas made a little comment on my last video. I fuck with the niggas heavy. So I, I, I've been, been, man, trying to justify Buck shit, but man, you, 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 you. The proof is in the pudding, cuz. Them videos, that phone call. Mm -hmm. Kind of fucked me up, cuz. And my homie, it's Neek. Ben told me Buck was a weirdo, but you know, I don't know Buck personally. 
a nigga Meek, I know, I know that nigga, so like, I had to take a nigga word, but like, hurt my heart when Buck came out with this Bati Boy shit, cuz. Like, damn, cuz. Not you. <sighs> Crazy. But so I've been a Black Fly fan. Free nigga ATM Jig, J Jizzle. I fuck with Six Street Mac. That nigga had potential, nigga. Uh, oh, what's the nigga name from motherfucking uh, Detroit? I forgot the nigga name. Hardcore nigga. Uh, uh, Tough Tone. I fuck with that nigga too. But yeah, man. I ain't gonna talk my fucking head off. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram. Revolution and Cuz. Like Facebook fan page. The Revolution and Cuz Show. Till next time. It's one for your boy. Stay tuned. A lot of dope shit coming your way. Bring out my live show with the homie Scott The Rock Jr. We stirring the pot, baby. You already know. Triples.